Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. Right, so this is going to be a Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon and Capricorn Rising monthly tarot reading December 2019 and bear with me just a couple of seconds guys to shuffle the tarot cards and how uh, we can jump right into it. So the first one here starts um, is the topic of your month and uh, it looks like we got a winner. We do have the two of cups followed by the next one here, which represents the challenges that you will need to overcome throughout the month. And the more and more this reading looks like about, say, uh, love and relationship related. That is going to be the five of cups. Followed by the next one, which speaks about the intentions that you will need to incorporate or the best way how you can tackle with how you can tackle with all that. That will be the Prince of uh, Pentacles or it is um, uh, represented by the Knights of Pentacles in the traditional deck. Lesson that you have to learn. That is going to be the Queen of Wands. Um, and the last one here, which stands for the energies that are to support you throughout the months. I look at this one, we do have the devil. So you're really gonna have it your way, don't you? I mean, at the end of the day, um, one of my best friends is Capricorn and she always has it her way. And it looks like that, that ain't gonna change here in the month of December. But let's go uh, into the cards one by one. Uh, so we do have uh, the two of cups and it's going to be accompanied with the Eight of Swords, we do have a passive neutrals in this particular position. So needless to say, it is that um, certain setbacks that you have recently experienced with person or people that you had a some sort of, a, how can I say it, a cumulative or a common goal or a vision is not going to be an obstacle anymore. I mean, those two cards are pointing that the differences in, um, if you will, in, in um, communications or in vision are not going to be any longer a plight or a setback for you to think of a future development in between you two. So that being said, shortly said, or to give it a, a practical example of it, you, you fought with your husband or a boyfriend or a wife, you know, or a girlfriend. That is not going to be any longer into the month of December. For a reason being is that you are going to give yourself more to the intimacy, okay? And more to the good time spending together rather than to those kind of like differences that are simply only drifting you apart. Uh, another thing that those two cards here are pointing is that you are going to become not that much an yielding as before, right? It's kind of like you are going to be more prone to compromises as long as, however, those compromises are from both sides. But we're definitely talking about teamwork, romance here in the month of December and in generally finding the love, 
right? And that love doesn't have to be romantic only. It could be as well, you know, simply the love of doing certain things. But it looks like that um, the bigger chances that you do find a romantic love throughout the month of December, or, or at least, you know, boost it, if you will. If you do have it, it is about a boosting it by smothering the disagreements you may have with that person. So the challenge here, it's about the Five of Cups, uh, and it's accompanied by the Aeon card. We do have a passive enemies in this particular position, and that is a, about uh, submission in a sense of that... Uh, there is only one way how the situation can improve. You pretty much know the way, but for one or another reason, that way it seems to appear as a certain loss or a disappointment that you will have. And the challenge is going to be understanding or recognizing that isn't that bad, all right? It's just, it's not as bad as you make it to be, all right? It's not as worse uh, as, you, uh, as you're imagining it. Uh, to be and for that reason um, the challenge is going to be to grasp the moments or to take on the opportunity those two cards are pointing it is that there is a wake-up call for you throughout this month okay and you have to answer the call it despite of how difficult that is going to be how challenging that is going to be um, to give you a, a practical example of it you know you are playing a cat and mouse with someone that you want to be with all right but always something is kind of like obstructing you both of doing it and at a certain point that person say fuck it let's let's just do it all right and that is the moment you have to take no conditions, no obligations, no negotiations. You just have to take it, okay, on a uh, on a goodwill, if you uh, if you will, uh, instead of you know keeping on playing this um, game of cat and mouse. So the other one it refers to the intentions, and that is going to be the Knight of Pentacles, uh, accompanied with the Three of Swords. And um, those two cards are a, a passive uh, enemies and they point to letting go of a, a past previous poignant experience. Instead of focusing on the previous hurt, wounds and pain that you had in this situation here of a cooperation, Capricorn, you have to more think of uh, the future that you and this cooperation can have, which could once again be a, a business cooperation, friendship cooperation, you know, romantic cooperation as well, which is the bigger chance that you are going to have here. But in order for you to do so, you have to kind of like convince yourself that that is exactly what you want, all right? And not just only convince yourself because Thinking of one thing is not going to get you there. I mean, real actions are needed and therefore slowly but steadily you have to start performing in that direction. And with the Knights of uh, Pentacles, always actions need to be supported with strong determination. All right. It's um, actions behind reason behind. Uh, without reason behind, they do not worth it. They do not produce results. So uh, that is... Uh, a thing that you have to do throughout the month. I mean, whenever you do something, it needs to make sense. And I mean, toward the cooperation you so much crave for, which could as well be a new relationship because the Two of Cups, in case you are single, it signifies the appearance of a someone else. Uh, another thing with those two cards is that whenever you feel bad about certain things, you know, either someone betrayed you, someone does not uh, keep their promise, or you just feel bad in general, you don't have the mood for anything, uh, those two cards are um, urging you to spend some time among nature, in parks, in the woods, hiking, and so on and so forth that will recharge you with a enthusiasm and vital energies the other card here points to the lesson that you need to learn and that is going to be the queen of wands and that is a, and it's uh, catalyzed with the empress card so we do have a passive neutrals in this particular position and uh, it's about um, consequences and it's about repercussions all right uh, that every decision that ones make it has its uh 
remnants that are lingering in the future so you it's like a but the butterfly effect you do something and it caught and it catches back to you uh in the future and that future came into the month of december but fortunately for you those two cards are pointing that you're gonna learn how to make the most out of a certain situations as the queen of wands sits into the prime position that is about uh, making the most out of extracting the positive aspects of situations and and working with it by diminishing while simultaneously excuse me diminishing the negative impacts that a certain previous decisions of yours had upon the situation uh, as well so in other words uh, you're going to learn how to become the master of your craft either regarding career or a either regarding relationship if this is so much that you crave for and the last one here points to the energies that are to support you we do have the devil and it is accompanied here by the hangman i mean the hangman comes a lot in those readings um and uh what makes my impression as well capricorns is that so far the readings are all about oneself um, I do believe that this is uh, in regards to the transits, the transits that are happening. I have them here in front of my, uh, in my computer. I'm just careless to um, open them. Okay, but yeah, I mean, uh, the transits are happening in the month of December. is all about what we can do for ourselves, and those energies will help you um, with the same thing here. Those two are a passive friends, and. Um, those energies will help you stalk your prey, okay? It's like patiently waiting in the tall grass up, uh, until your prey becomes vulnerable for you to have it the way you want it, all right? So you can have your future relationship the way you want it by patiently waiting for the right circumstances to happen. You can have your future career the way you want it by, again, patiently waiting for the, for the right circumstances to happen. And those energies will help you um, with the patience, as uh, you, you know, you could be a bit kind of like impatient, right, uh, up until this moment, but not this time around, because you will know what is in stake here. Additionally to that, uh, those energies will um, help you by exerting your influence, by making a difference in your current relationship, in your future relationship, into your careers as well. So it's a big of a, it's a month of a, a big, big breakthrough, especially on the love front, guys. And uh, not to mention that the devil is about satisfying the hunger of one's soul. So if love, it is what you are hungry for, well, I guess this is what you're going to get. I hope that it is exactly what you want. Because bitter or sweet, once again, it is yours to bear. So that being said, Capricorn, this was your Monte Tarot reading of December 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.